Hi everyone and welcome back to IBK's Kitchen and in today's video I'll be showing you how I make my CMOS gel. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll be sharing with you my top tip on how to use CMOS gel. Please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to our channel. The human body requires 102 different minerals and vitamins to function properly. CMOS contains 92 of these minerals including magnesium, potassium, iodine, sulphur, calcium, selenium, fibre, copper, phosphorus, zinc, riboflavin and manganese. These minerals supply energy to the body, regulate digestion and help to detoxify the body. There are several health benefits attached to using CMOS gel. I'm going to mention just a few of these benefits. 1. CMOS aids digestion. CMOS works as a prebiotic, allowing it to influence the composition of our gut microbiota. It is also a mucilaginous food that has a sticky texture and helps the stool to move through the gastrointestinal tract more easily. Supports weight loss. CMOS may help weight loss. When combined with liquids, CMOS has a gel-like texture that is thick and sticky. It acts as a soluble fibre and helps to keep you full for longer. It may reduce your appetite and increase satiety when taken before food. Supports thyroid health. CMOS is rich in iodine. Diets that are rich in iodine may support thyroid health. Without enough iodine, the thyroid may not be able to function properly and can cause metabolic issues. As a natural source of iodine, CMOS may help prevent iodine deficiency. Supporting gut health. CMOS may have prebiotic effects, which could play a vital role in improving the health of the gut microbiome. Recent studies have found that CMOS is rich in dietary fibre and oligosaccharides such as carrageenan. The studies found that the CMOS seemed to support gut health by feeding the healthy bacteria in the intestines. May boost neurological health. Studies suggest that CMOS may have neuroprotective effects because of its ability to alleviate oxidative stress. Supporting muscle and energy recovery. CMOS may play a role in helping the body recover from workouts or help relieve fatigue. The research from a recent study found that people given certain types of CMOS had reduced fatigue, exhaustion and pain levels. This may be due to the high levels of amino acids and total proteins present in the CMOS. Supporting hair and skin. CMOS may be good for your skin and hair because of its antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. It's also rich in nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin A and magnesium. In this video, I will be using a whole packet of CMOS. This CMOS is approximately 100 grams of CMOS. What you will find is that the CMOS is going to triple in size and so we'll end up approximately three times the size of this packet after it's soaked overnight. I like to start the process of preparing my CMOS by placing it into a bowl and then just softening it with some cold water. By doing this you're able to separate the CMOS so that if there's any sea debris and any particles attached to the CMOS, it will be easier to wash it out once you're washing your CMOS. I then transfer the softened CMOS into a sieve and begin washing. As this is wild crafted CMOS, it is not processed and is direct from the ocean. As like any product from the sea, CMOS is naturally salty. However, it is not overly salty and contains a specific amount of sea salt. This type of sea moss is directly harvested from its natural environment where it absorbs a variety of minerals from the ocean. Continue to wash your sea moss thoroughly in clear water until all the sea salt is removed. Now that your sea moss is washed, you will then need to transfer it back into a large bowl and add some fresh alkaline water or spring water. 
It is important for you not to use tap water as the water that the sea moss is soaked in will be used to blend your sea moss. Pour your alkaline water or spring water to the top of the bowl until the sea moss is completely covered as it will absorb a lot of water. Remember, your sea moss is going to triple in size as it soaks overnight, so be sure to use a large bowl. As you can see, this sea moss has only been soaking for 10 minutes, but it's already begun to expand. You do not have to store your sea moss in the fridge overnight, but be sure to cover your bowl and leave it to soak overnight. Once you've soaked your sea moss overnight, your sea moss will go from this to this in just 24 hours or less, 12 hours minimum. The next day, as you can see, your sea moss will have tripled in size and it's now ready for you to blend. Do not throw away your water as the water that you have soaked your sea moss in will be used to blend your sea moss into a gel. Take your sea moss over to a high speed blender and then add some of your spring water or alkaline water that you have soaked your sea moss in and add to your blender first and then add your sea moss. It is best to start the blending process on a low speed and then gradually increase to a high speed. Begin to blend, but remember to leave your blender jug lid open at the top so that you can add your water incrementally as and when needed. Once you have increased your blender speed to the highest speed, leave it to blend until it's smooth. The consistency of your sea moss gel should be similar to this. If your sea moss gel is a lot thicker, you can add more water and re-blend. If you leave your sea moss gel in the blender to sit, it will begin to solidify. So it's best that you transfer your blended sea moss gel into an airtight glass container almost immediately. Be sure to store your glass jars of sea moss gel in a fridge overnight and in the morning it will become a firm gel and you can use your sea moss as desired. My bonus tip for using sea moss gel is to make sure you are making other healthy nutritional changes to your lifestyle as well as incorporating sea moss to your diet. Such as eating more alkaline fruits and vegetables and cutting out processed foods. If you do this, you will see the results of using sea moss gel a lot faster and you'll get better results. Thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit the notifications button so that anytime we post a new video, you will be well informed.